Hey everyone, it's me, Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures, and I am so glad you guys are here. I need you guys to help lift oh, my health. So much fun going on tonight. I have some pictures to show you, some stories to tell, and I am so glad that you guys are here. Yay, Yvonne was first. Hey, Monday Kai, good to see you. Hey, Bianca. Hey, Lizzie girl. If you want to come in, let me know and I'll send you the link. Ooh, lightning. <laughs> hey, Cindy Lee, good to see you. Hey, Jill Gail, I've missed you, girl. I hope all is going well this spring for you. Yes, yeah, so it is Friday. Thank God it's Friday because, oh my gosh, this week has been a never, ever, ever ending week. So Brenda has a question. She gifted a square, double-sided adhesive, never done either one before. Any tips? Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Mom and Dad. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Lisa. Good to see you. Well, Brenda. I would do it and uh, reveal smaller sections. I would work on if there is color blocking, doing what we call checkerboarding, which is where you do every other uh, spot and then you can fill it back in. And then um, I would also, hey, Irene, hey, Sylvia, hey, Karen. Um, and with double-sided adhesive, do not roll it backwards or forwards. Make sure you leave it flat as you're doing it um hey sue good to see you hey tia hola hola good to see you hey don i'm so glad that you're here welcome welcome it is friday 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 oh my gosh guys this this week has been crazy oh my goodness it's just, everywhere everywhere's been crazy um one day this week i oh my morning sickness for those of you who do not know um i officially have hit 19 weeks i'm halfway there um that's almost five months and the morning sickness is getting worse than better so i finally called the doctor and well i messaged them right because everything has to be messaged now and I said, look, I have tried every home remedy. I have tried everything the nurse has told me over the last couple months. I just, I haven't gotten a meal down. And it's not that I can't, it, it, it's just, oh my goodness, it's been horrible. The past two weeks have been the worst it's been since I found out I was pregnant. And, um, all I've been eating, guys, are literally any type of potato product or bread product. It's the only thing I can keep it down. So, I mean, listen, I've been eating pizza. Haven't gained a pound. Haven't lost a pound. But I, I by this point, I should be at like 10, 10 pounds gained, and I haven't gained one pound. Now, I, I look like I'm pregnant. Uh, the baby's like nine ounces, according to measurements. You know, everything like I should be gaining, but I can't take my vitamins. They come right back up. I, I'm nauseous all the time. I just, I, I look at the mirror and I look gray or green. It's, it's horrible. So, um, hey, Satya, good to see you. Hey, Cats Gallery. Hey, Berta, welcome, welcome. Waiting at the beauty shop. Oh, man, I need my eyebrows waxed. Oh, big time. Uh, I got to get them ready for Ashley. I mean, Crashly right there. She's She loves the eyebrows. Hey, Valerie. How good to see you. Hey, Tawana Crafter. Well, you just stay busy, Crashly. So, um, yeah, it's just been, it's been crazy. And so I messaged the doctor today because I could, today I can't even keep saltine crackers down. I can't keep a sip of Sprite down. I can't keep water down, nothing. And I'm like, I'm worried not about my weight, but I'm worried about nutrition. Like I want nutrition. So 
I, I've been through like eight boxes of saltine crackers in the past month. And it's just, it's been crazy. So, um, I, I messaged the doctor and the doctor didn't give me any flack. She just said, you know what? You don't have to be, you don't have to, you know, suffer. We're going to call in a script for you. It's, so she called in two scripts. One, she said, I want you to start this one first. You're going to take it once every six hours. And then after a day, if it doesn't work, stop it and try this other one. So the second script she called in is, um, she is the same stuff I was on with Lydia. And so I know that, um, Hey, Big C. Hey, fairy tale. Great to see you. Hey, Lindsay. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Kimberlina. Good to see you. Um, so yeah, see, I've tried all of that. I've tried like, well, I can't do salt and vinegar. I don't like them. <laughs> Sorry, Valerie. <laughs> but um, yeah, Zofran is what they called in. Um, so yeah, I... So they called the script in to the pharmacy and I asked my husband because he had today off. I was like, hey, you know, when when it says it's ready, can you pick it up? He's like, sure, not a problem. Um, the one they want me to try first is out of stock. Like I have to wait 24 to 48 hours for them to ship it in from either their headquarters or another pharmacy. So the second one, which is Zofran, that's in stock. So. I told my husband, I was like, oh, can you just go pick that up? Because I, I know it'll be fine. I'll just take one so I can have a meal. Like, I'm so, oh, my goodness. So, it's crazy. Yeah, Fairy Tale said she couldn't drink anything that wasn't carbonated. Eat soup. Hey, Melinda, good to see you. Um, Tia had crani chronic hypermesia with Justin. Morning sickness. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's. I, I just, I can't do it. Like at work, I've spent like 20 bucks on the Sprite they have at work. And, you know, I get two or three sips in just enough to get me through the next client. And if I drink any more, I'm toast. Um, so, but the pharmacy closes at nine and it's nine. And my husband and daughter, it didn't get in until they had to leave because they were roughing soccer tonight together. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to suffer. But where I was going with this is I've had so many mashed potatoes from Kentucky Fried Chicken because that seems to stay down. <laughs> so I'll go through the drive through and go, I'd like one large mashed potato and gravy. <laughs> and they're like, okay. I think they're going to start to know me. <laughs> or I'll do a Wendy's baked potato um, or French fries, no salt. Um, just like potato products are my friend. Um, I was able Wednesday to get a little bit of pizza down, but then it, it like, it was, it was tough. Like it tasted good going down, but then I spent two hours trying to like not upchuck it. So yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Woohoo. So I wanted to show you like why I shouldn't diamond paint when I'm pregnant. Okay. So this piece that I'm working on is from Treasure Studios and it's Bee Buddies. Well, <laughs> I messed this whole strip up right here. Okay. I switched, mentally switched the colors. Look at this. Um, put them back wrong. Right. So I have a mixed. You think I would learn. Uh, nope. Look at this. Put them back wrong. Um, you think I would learn? Nope. There was another one I had right here that was mixed as well. Yeah. So I, I'm all over the place. I, this painting has been great, but my pregnancy mind is just out the wazoo. I'm mixing everything up. I, I don't know which end is up. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, I did want to let you guys know we are doing a drawing for um, the wonderful Everlasting Tips. I made a boo-boo, and I'm so glad Nicole messaged me from Everlasting Tips because she is so gracious. 
I misread the email she sent um, or misinterpreted it. So I want to let you know that there's going to be two winners, right? But you're going to get a full set, guys. We're not splitting the sets up. I read it wrong. So my channel is going to get one and Lizzie's channel is going to get the other. And tonight is when um, we're pulling the giveaway from last week for these everlasting tips. Guys, these are like $50, $60 things, right? So you you need to, I mean, Nicole, whoo, whoo, love you, girl. You are so amazing. So whoever wins this, um, I can't wait to send it to you. I know there's several people waiting on their prizes. Thank you for your patience. Um, I will be working on all of those tomorrow morning and getting them out in the mail. Um, and I will be emailing the winners by tomorrow, all the winning links. So, um, tomorrow is the last day for hashtag beautiful DP beautiful 22. And I will get all those prizes out promise, promise. Cause I don't need them cluttering up my space, my space. Okay. Uh, Hey Mickey, good to see you. Yeah, I, I Lizzie, maybe that's what I'm doing because I keep putting them back in the wrong one. Oh my goodness. It's yeah, yeah. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. All right. So funny, well, not funny story. A couple funny stories tonight. Some of them odd. I'm going to try to diamond paint and talk at the same time but it, it, it may prove too difficult. I may have to pause and just, you know, pretend and talk with my hands or just be like, hey, look, look how fast I can dive and paint. Do, 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 do. Lizzie's channel's name, Brenda, is Lizzie's World of Gems. Yep, good question. Good question. Okay, so Wednesday. Wednesday, I worked late. Yesterday, I worked late. But Wednesday, I get, I, I left work after seven. And I drive home and I usually text my husband on my way home. Um, so he knows because sometimes he like our driveway is a single car lane. And if he needs to leave in the morning before I, um, then he knows when I get home, he'll be in the car. He'll pull it out. I'll pull in and he'll pull in behind me. So Wednesday happened to be one of those times. So I pull in. Now, Lydia had been sick Wednesday. She had been home all day. Tim was working. Um, I, I was exhausted. I was just ready. He had ordered pizza for all of us. I was ready to kick my feet up, have a piece of pizza, and listen to my friend Crafting Journey and her live on Wednesday. Um, because I usually miss it because I work late. So I pull in, and the minute I open the door, the minute I open the door, um, hey, chaotic, good to see you. So <laughs> I hear this. F this, you a-hole, you shiitake mushroom. Like, I mean, it was screaming every swear word under the sun. And it was like nonstop, nonstop screaming. And that's what I opened my car door to. My husband opened his car door and he's like, holy cow. Like he's looking at me and it's on the other side of the fence. Like it's our neighbors and they are just going ballistic. And we weren't sure if they were drunk. We weren't sure if they were high on something. They were saying things that like, it was scary guys. It was really scary. And a, a three-year-old lives there and I was scared. I'm like, oh my gosh, like what's going on? So we go inside and we're thinking maybe it's just like a so it's a really sad story. Our neighbors moved in a long time ago and it was just this older gentleman and he has a adult son, like 21, 22 year old son. Well, then his son moved in with him and his son was um, addicted to drugs and was in and out and in and out of rehab in jail. So the son then started seeing this girl and the girl moved in with them. So now it's the older gentleman, the son, and the son's girlfriend. 
the son's girlfriend gets pregnant and while she's pregnant, the son ends up overdosing and passing away. So now it's the older gentleman, the girlfriend, and then she gave birth. And so they've been there now together. And the, the, the little baby is now three years old. And the dad has been depressed. He's lost his job. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that they're letting their house go. They had this broken down car in their backyard up on a stump for like four years. Um, there's skunks living under a shed. There's tree limbs that have fallen all over. And it's just a really sad situation. And we've tried to be there. Like, there's three of us neighbors that are around him and we've really tried, like we've provided meals, we've invited them over. We've said that we would watch the kiddo if they needed time. We've, you know, taken Christmas gifts over. We've, you know, we snow blow the front of their walkway. We, we try like when we have really small front yards. So when my husband's mowing, sometimes he'll mow his front yard for him. Like we've really tried to be there the three homes that are surrounding this gentleman. So we get out and there's screaming. So we go in the house and I'm just like, I kick off my shoes. I I'm trying to like, like anytime I'm changing positions, I get really nauseous. So I'm trying to calm my body down and we hear it through the walls. Like as if they're standing right there next to us, like the dog comes in from outside. The dog is barking like crazy. And we get to the basement because that's where um, our family room is, where I'm sitting right now, the craft room and everything. And we can hear in the basement, like it's, and it's escalating even more. And I didn't think it could escalate more. So we end up calling the non-emergency line and just reporting like a domestic dispute because I was worried about the three-year-old. And this is also the same house that we think he bought a gun. We're not sure. We, we've been kind of monitoring the situation. And so we're just like, ah, oh, you know, we, so the, the cops ended up coming and our dog just kept going crazy, <laughs> but my husband had given them the cops the wrong address because we weren't going to go outside. We, we don't have the address memorized. Um, so the cops were like, which house do they go to? And then they figured it out. And, um, yeah. So it was an interesting Wednesday. It was, oh my goodness. Like that's how the whole week's been. It's just been one weird thing after another. Um, yeah. So <laughs> my friends, I was telling them about this on Facebook and some of them are in the chat. They're like, your neighborhood is crazy. I'm just like, uh, no, it's just this one person. <laughs> Just this one person. <laughs> We've all been monitoring them. So yes, that's that's what's been going on. Um, but speaking of weird, I want to show you something. Um, this also happened on Wednesday. Um, I come out of work. It's late. I'm like, oh, I just want to get to the car. And I look over on my way to the car. And guys, guess what I saw? I want you to think about what did I see? in the parking lot going from my building to my car at seven o'clock at night it was not anyone alive it wasn't anyone dead so it wasn't anything kinky what did i see what did i see i don't think anyone in here could guess and don't cheat those people who know what did i see what did i see Nobody's going to guess. Everyone's lurking and working. Yeah, because you guys know how not to mix up your drills. You know how to pay attention. Yeah. All right. I will show you what I saw. Do, 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 do. A vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner. Yep. See? That was my Wednesday too. Like, I you can't make this up. I am walking and I look up. There's nobody in the parking lot. I'm the last one there. So there's, there's no, hey, Judy, good to see you. 
Hey, Emma. Hey, Angela. Yeah. So a dancing cat. Good guess. A floating potato. Painted rock. Yeah. This is what I see. This is what I see. So I message my friends. I show them the picture. And my precious friend, Rebecca, tells me that I should fly it home. Well, maybe I should have. Maybe that would have stopped the fight. <laughs> um, but it was full of, like, yeah, I didn't walk over to it. <laughs> just sitting there. Just sitting there randomly. But this brought up that my daughter, I went a couple weeks ago to one of her games. And I, <laughs> when I drove in, it was wind tunnel, guys. It was like 50 to 60 degree, 60 degree, 50 to 60 mile an hour per winds. Um, they would kick the ball in the air and the ball would go completely the different direction. Like it would turn midair like a boomerang. It, uh, we as parents were cracking up. So I, I drive into the parking lot and go to park my car. And this is what I see. Yes, the porta potty had flown across the parking lot and decided to sit in the middle of the parking lot. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, people. You can't make it up. So I took a picture of it. I don't think anybody was in it when it happened, but there you go. So, <laughs> um, the, the floating, Hey, good to see you, Cheryl. So this is like the floating, floating porta potty. Crazy, crazy idea. Um, we, as parents were monitoring it throughout the game because heaven forbid it like flipped over. <laughs> like, just, Judy, oh my gosh, I love it. A drive through port potty <laughs> So yes, so this is the floating port potty <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you. Yes, that, that's just been crazy. It's been crazy, right, Sue? Do you remember that? It's like all through Michigan. It was just major, major wins. So um, yes, it, I love that. I'm going to remember that drive through port potty Judy. <laughs> crazy absolutely so yeah that that was nuts that was absolutely nuts um so all right well i would like to go ahead and give away these wonderful everlasting tips and nicole was amazing in donating them please 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 look in the description she has given us 15 percent off people 15 percent off so if you don't win, go over and check them out. And what I love is, um, I, I love that they're for all, there's, you can afford anything, right? She has little, little ones that you can put in, you can change out the brass and put in the stainless steel right here. And let me see if it's on here, um, how to do it. Oh my goodness. I got sticky, sticky. So it, she shows you how to do it, right? How to pull it off and how to put it on. That's what she said. But you also can get the single placer. You can get two placer, three placer, four placer, six placer, straighteners. You can get angled tips. Um, I love this all-in-one single placer. You can get it in a single or a four pack. I like to get it in the four pack because I like to use different pens. Um, and then I love most of my pens have her four placer on it. And then you've got your single placer. So yeah, I, I go get 15% off. That's amazing for this amazing product. Okay. Um, let's see, let me go to my YouTube studio so I can grab last week's live, last week's live, and then we're going to do YouTube comment picker. Dun, 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 dun.
Oops. Well, that's not going to work. All right. So I put it in. Filter out duplicates. YouTube comments. So there's 17 individual YouTube comments. Let me come back and say, hi. Yeah, the bendies are so nice. Well, Satya, I use, okay, there's several things I use. Um, so I, I'd rather have the movable potty than having like a fired. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Sue. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have, um, not your mama's mud. And then I've also, I think Ashley is going to be releasing it soon, but she has a certain putty that she's going to be using. So that's what I have in my pen now. And then, um, I, I just use the pink wax too. Like sometimes that's just, oh no, Karen, maybe you can like email her. Maybe she'll, she's so super sweet. So maybe email her. Okay. So YouTube random comment picker. Let's see. I'm going to unplug my computer. Ooh, oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. All right. So we're going to random comment winner. Start. Okay. Awesome. So Cheryl was one of the winners and then we're going to pick another winner. All right. Angela Lewis. So Angela says my project for the weekend is Violet by Sarah Richard from Diamond Art Club. I have an Aiden. He's going to and Aiden. He's going to be 16 in July. We picked his name out. It wasn't popular in the year 2006, but it was the number one boy's name. Good luck picking your son's name. All right. So I will notify you both. Um, but yeah, let me know, Angela, especially let me know um, in the email me at dpaddictionsadventures at gmail.com um, and let me know what your address is so I can send it out right away and I will get that to you. Hey, Robert, good to see you. Yes, Crashly's Putty is awesome. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to go out. Um, I know Lizzie is giving me, um, what are you giving me, Liz? Lizzie's going to give me the name, so I will get that name out as, or those uh, things out as well to you. Um, what did I order last night? Sue, remind me, what was I supposed to order last night? Am I supposed to order something? My brain doesn't remember anything. My brain doesn't. Crashly, I need a B pen. I gave all my pens away. Gave all my pens away. So I, I need a B pen. I'll pay for it. I just need it. I just need it. Oh. <sighs> All right, so I want to talk to you about the grand prizes. Um, we have DP with sparklers, and we have Treasure Studios. Oh, yes, I did buy one thing. It is on its way. It is on its way. Um, I'll let you know when I unbox it. I've got to do a whole bunch of unboxings. I know I keep saying that. Please forgive me. Um so to get the grand prize, the grand prize is um, a diamond painting of your choice from Treasure Studios. And it's also a, um, or you would win a $50 gift card to DP with sparklers. So those are the two grand prizes. We're so glad for our sponsors, guys. Please, please check out our sponsors. Tomorrow's the last day for some of the percentages off that they're given. Um, I just want to let you know that it's out there. Also, Treasure Studios has a Mother's Day sale going on. So anything that's released ends up being 10% off, no code needed for the first 48 hours. And then you can also use um, Lizzie's code or my code for the 15% off. So you're actually getting like 25% off. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that that is out there as well. Um, so we're super, super excited. 
Um, so how are we going to win? What I would like to do, and I haven't talked with Lizzie yet, so Lizzie, forgive me. Um, what I would like to do is pick 11 people from my channel and 11 people from Lizzie's channel and then do a wheel spinner. And why do I pick 11? I pick 11 because it's um, DP, hashtag DP beautiful 22. So what I would like is, Lizzie, did you do your last um, DP beautiful video already? Was that your whip and chat this week? Was that the last one? Or are you planning on doing one this coming week? So what what I would like you guys to do is if you participated in hashtag DP beautiful 22, meaning March 15th, you picked, um, Hey, diamonds by Jennifer. Good to see you. If you picked something spring like and started May 15th or later, and it was 30 by 40 or larger. I don't know what yes means, Lizzie. Yes to what? I gave you two options. <laughs> Yes, doesn't help me. Um, if you did that and you are 50% or more done with it, then you have entered, you qualify. And so what I would like you to do is leave a comment on my channel on this video and leave a comment on Lizzie's channel because then you, you have a chance to win either one, right? So you could be on that wheel twice. Like if the random comment picks you, picker picks you from mine and it picks you from hers, then you're on there twice. So if you did something spring-like, it was 30 by 40 or larger, you started May 15th or after, and you're at least 50% 50, 50 done, then you qualify for the grand prize. So leave a comment going like, yay, I qualify. And then what your painting was that you worked on. Um, so yes. So Lizzie's Tuesday Live this past week would be hers. And um, this video that you're watching right now would be mine. So go and make comments and we're going to do a comment picker and uh, 11 people from Lizzie's and 11 people from mine. And we're going to put it on a picker wheel and yes, March 15th. Sorry, Karen. Thank you. March 15th, March 15th, March 15th. Um, so definitely then March, March, promise, March. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Cindy, I saw that. <laughs> That's okay, let's see. <laughs> um, so, yes, if you qualify, leave something in the comments that says, I qualify for the grand prize, or yay, I, I'm doing it. What, whatever leads me to believe that you're you're with us with hashtag DP beautiful 22 and um, we'll do a wheel spinner and one person will win TSA and one person will win DP with sparklers. So I just, I want to let you in on that and hope, hope somebody wins. Well, somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to win. Um, so guys, I'm actually going to end tonight early. Um, as I said, I haven't been feeling very well, but I wanted to say hi to everybody. I wanted, um, just to spend some time with you and hope all is well. I hope tomorrow to do some uploads and, you know, just get back in the game. We'll see. Hopefully that medication um, comes in well. So I love you all. Um, take care. Be blessed. And um, I hope that you have a great, great weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>